Hi, welcome to the Quilting Bee. So I do have questions already, and Annette Hast asked the first question, which was a perfect first question, which is, um, how am I going to quilt it? Do I have a design in mind? Have I, have I picked a design? Well, of course, the whole fun, the whole operation is really making it up as you go. So I just going to wing it. But I do have some ideas. Um, see, that's getting the little knot through. Uh, <laughs> it makes a pleasing little pop. So I'm, I'm just going to wing it. But I am going to pay attention to certain uh, designs that are that are in the makeup of the top. For instance, there are some um, pieces that are hexagrams. There, there are two nine patch squares in here. So I think. Um, and other kind of things that invite um, certain quilting designs. So I think I will uh, make it up as I go. Um, you know, the I always quilted the way my grandmother quilted. Let's see, one of somebody asked. Here's another. <laughs> here, here you are. Um, Artie Ladd asked if I had a, uh, a, any favorite conspiracy theory. So I'll come back to you, Annette, because life has brought me the Artie Ladd question about conspiracy. Yes, I call it the thread conspiracy. I think thread has a mind of its own. And basically, it's testing us all the time and trying to communicate with us and forcing us to pay attention to its nature. And when it's not pleased with what we're doing, it uh, gets into a knot. That's what just happened here. Um, because I wasn't paying attention. That's when it, I was like doing my little quilting bee and uh, I wasn't uh, saying, hey, I know you're gonna need a little attention here. It still hasn't been solved. No, I don't know where, I'm, that fortunately that's, that may not have been intended to be like that. See, this is, this is the whole idea. I've got, it's not happy. It's the, the thread is not happy. What it does too, is it will, uh, if you leave it and then you come back and you pick it up and you just are ready to start sailing, uh, it it'll, it will not. You have to approach it gently, say hi, uh, give it a little um, loving attention. Since I just started this, then what happens is you get mad. It's so it's testing you also. The conspiracy is, uh, hey you. Keep aware, I'm alive, I'm thread here, thread. And you have to pay attention to me. Well, since I'm getting mad and I didn't uh, deal with it gently to try to see exactly where was the knot? What was the knot? If you just start plowing ahead you're tightening the knot, and finally, I 
just cut it off. I'm, I'm going to have to start all over. That's the thread conspiracy. So thank you, Artie Lad, for asking that question. <laughs> um, all right, now we'll go back to Annette and the design. So, like, I had some little triangle designs that I thought could invite invite to care. Oh, yes, my grandmother's quilting. See what the, the Thread Conspiracy did? It just completely took over this whole quilting bee. She always quilted, and all of her uh, quilting bee compatriots all quilted what I call seam quilting. It's quilting a quarter inch on either side of every seam. I always did that. It's fun. I think, well, all of hand quilting is fun, but that that's fun. And uh, then Joe Cunningham said, well, you should be freehand quilting. Why aren't you freehand quilting? Well, the way that happened is I showed him some of my grandmother's quilts uh, and he w was looking for pencil marks. Ooh, bad news, pencil marks. So you want to go freehanding. So I, I started doing that. That's, that is a lot of fun. But now when I get to the square here that's going to be a, a nine patch, why not quilt it the old way? Do the seam quilting for that little spot. When I come to the uh, hexagrams, why not quilt them um, uh, using the hexagram? And then you can extend the, that. That's going to make a kind of a circle. That can shadow out into other parts. So uh, it's, it's going to be fun. <laughs>